Don't want to get hacked, get spam, watch ads. Let's create our own game of Tetris. You can choose the color, size, and your own design. And ChatGPT will do everything for you. Our prompt is make Tetris for browser. You will get three files with JavaScript, HTML, and CSS code. Come back to your desktop. We need a new folder for our Tetris. Let's name the folder Tetris. Just follow what I'm doing. We need one more amazing instrument, Notepad++. Let's go to the official website, download and run it. We need to create our three files with JavaScript, HTML, and CSS code. We will use Notepad++. Don't be scared, it's easy. Now go back to ChatGPT. First, let's copy the HTML code. It is the body of our game. Don't select the code or use any shortcut. Just press the copy button on ChatGPT in the top right corner. Open Notepad++ and make a new document. Paste the copied code to this document. We will save all our documents in our folder called Tetris. Let's name this file index. Now save this document in HTML format and then close it in the Notepad. Next step. Now go back to ChatGPT. Let's copy the CSS code. It is the decoration of our game. Now press the copy button on ChatGPT in the top right corner. Let's go back to our desktop create a new file called style and then save it in CSS format now let's do the same with our last file JavaScript is the logic of our game create a new file called Tetris and save it in JavaScript format close all the files in notepad plus plus now all three of our files are in our folder Tetris on our desktop go to the folder Tetris and double click on the index HTML file our Tetris game is ready. You can now use it. Use the arrow section on your keyboard to control the game. I want to change the color. To choose a color, I used a color website by Adobe. I chose the one I liked and copied the name of the color. Now I open the file style CSS in Notepad++. This file can be used for decoration. I decided to change just the background color around the game. Save the file. Open our Tetris game with a double click on the index file. I found a row named background color in the chunk of code named body and changed the color like this. Save the file. All done. Oh, I'm unhappy with the name on the top. Open the file index HTML in Notepad++ and change the word in the quotes H1 to our new title. I decided to put the name of my channel and emojis there. Save the file and open it again to check if the changes were made. I am unhappy with the color of my change name. I want it to be black. I opened the file style again and changed the row color in the chunk named body. I just copied the color from our chunk can canvas because our canvas is black just copy and paste by the way if you want to change the color of your game field it is a row called background color in the chunk canvas I decided to change the size of our game canvas it is easy first open our file index HTML in notepad plus plus I will use this game on my desktop and decided to make the games canvas wider in the canvas row I changed the number and doubled it 600 instead of 300. Then open the file Tetris.js in Notepad++. This contains our JavaScript. Let's change the row cons calls because we need to add columns to make it wider. This is necessary for our new wide canvas game. We doubled the size of our canvas from 300 to 600 and we will double it here too. Let's write 20 instead of 10. Saving all files and close Notepad++. Double click on the index file. I decided to add some extra features to our game. If I wanted to take a break and get my coffee, for example, I want to get the functions pause, start, and restart. And I prefer to use just one button, the space button. It's the largest button on our keyboard. And I want to be able to change the speed of our game. I decided to use the plus button to make the game faster and the minus button to make it slower. I asked ChatGPT to make these changes changes in a separate extra file with new code and not to change the existing code because I don't want to change the code that is already working well. ChatGPT gave me one more JavaScript file.
file named extra controls. I saved the file extra controls as a JavaScript file to our folder Tetris and add one more row to our HTML code to connect the new JavaScript file. All is working well. All codes and changes you can get from ChatGPT with the complete detailed explanation. But if you are extremely exhausted or lazy like this cat and don't even have the energy to type on your keyboard, you can download the ready to use code from my Google Drive in the description. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Good luck.